Well, here we are, back by popular demand, with another Turbo Pascal program of mine from the 1990s. And by popular demand, I mean that one person on Reddit implied that it might be kind of interesting. So we're back in uh, November 1995, so I'd have finished my second year of university at St Andrews in Scotland. I'd be back in Edinburgh at my parents' house while I went out drinking with my friends, and my parents complained to me about my lack of getting a job during the holidays. Um, but I had a plan, because uh, my friend Phil McIntosh and I had been going to the casino in Dundee on the bus from St Andrews and betting money that we didn't have on games of blackjack in order to avoid getting a job. And I think, uh, as a result of my failings at winning at blackjack at the casino, I wrote this program in order to work out my optimum blackjack strategy. So without further ado, I shall run the program, and as it's running, I'll explain what the output is. Uh, so blackjack, as you probably know, is a game where you're dealt cards and you're, you're, goal, you're given two cards to start with uh, and you can keep taking more cards for as long as you want and your goal is to get to as close to 21 as you possibly can without going, without going over and you play against the dealer who then deals their own cards. Um, and what you're looking at on the screen here is various strategies down the left. So the stick one, stick two, stick three, stick four, etc. is the point at which you will stop drawing any new cards. Uh, so stick ten, for example, means that as, as soon as the cards in your hand are worth more than ten, you'll stop taking new cards. Uh, and then along the top are the ultimate value of your hand. So again, looking at stick ten, um, you have an 11% chance of getting a total hand value of 11, stick 10, and you have, funnily enough, a 10% chance of getting a total value of 20 if you stop taking any cards as long as you have more than 10. This program is running inside Turbo Pascal in DOSBox, and obviously I'm not running it on an 8286 machine from 1995. So the first thing I'm going to do, because we're trying to optimize blackjack strategy, is speed up the emulator. Um, and so what we can do here is in the DOSBox configuration file, we can find the line that says Cycles, we can change it to Max, save it, and we'll restart Turbo Pascal with DOSBox, and this program will, as you can see, run a great deal faster. And as I'm sitting watching this and thinking about all the money I'm going to make out of blackjack based on the advice of 20-year-old me, I notice something a little bit unusual here. So first off, if we stick on 10, why is our chance of getting 21 0%? Because there's a possibility that I could pick up an ace, which is worth either 1 or 11. You'd have to assume that that possibility is about 1 in 13. Um, and that would make my 10 into 21. So that looks a little bit suspicious. But what looks even more suspicious is why are there zeros in stick 8, stick 9, stick 7 on the bust column? Because when there's a no probability at all of something happening, it seems that my program leaves the, the appropriate cell blank. So I'm going to step into the Turbo Pascal debugger and see if I can improve my blackjack playing strategy. So if we look down here, the main part of the program uh, clears the results array and then does 100,000 deals, which would have taken quite a long time on my computer in 1995. And then it repeatedly shuffles and then goes through playing a hand for each kind of stick at strategy. So that all types loops through the stick at. So if I just quickly look at the shuffle routine, here we are making an array of four packs, which is what they use in the casino. And it runs through randomizing all of the entries in those four packs. And then we have a get card routine that will pull one at random. And if the face value of the card is more than 13, it just makes it 10. So um, that we just have a value of 10 for all the face cards. One thing that sticks out to me here is that this pack doesn't seem to take account of aces at all. And so we seem to assume 
that there is no card in the pack worth 11 and there is no card in the pack worth 1. Uh, so I'm not going to fix that today, but that might be a slight flaw in the strategy that comes out of this program and I wouldn't recommend using it for playing professional blackjack. Um, but what I'm going to look into is that other error where the zeros appeared in the columns on the right, because that looked a little bit suspicious. So I'm going to look through, here we are, is the meat of the hand playing procedure. So we draw one card, we draw two cards, you get two to start with the course from the dealer, and then while the total value is less than the amount we want to stick out, we keep drawing cards. And this confused me a little bit, this seems not to be a function call in any way at all, um, but I discover that Pascal, you can declare a function and just call it as though it was a variable. So this total value here is in fact calling this function here, which adds up uh, the cards, which are static variables applied to the whole program. So that looks pretty straightforward. And then we have the total value we end up with. Um, and if it's greater than 22, we just call it 22 because that fits nicely into the bus column. So the situation I seem to be hitting is that we're ending up, when we have a stick-at strategy that is only, say, 9, we're somehow ending up with cards that are worth more than 21, which is impossible because the highest value card you can draw is 10. So what I'm going to do now is step into the debugging part of Turbo Pascal, and I'm going to set a breakpoint on this line here. And the condition I'm particularly interested in is when I was sticking at 9 but I've somehow ended up with 22 cards, because I don't think that's a thing that should happen. So I'm going to add a breakpoint on this line. I've got to tell you that this was one of the amazing things about Turbo Pascal in the 1990s. This kind of thing you just couldn't do in other development environments. And the condition I'm interested in is stick at is 9, and also end up is 22. So in this condition uh, is met, this breakpoint will be hit. Oh, and it's hit already. So now here I am in debug mode. Uh, and these days you can do things like hovering over variables and it'll show you what they're worth, but not in 1994. So the breakpoint's been hit. I know those conditions are right. And what I want to do is find out. So I'll just double check that stick out is 9. That was what I wanted. And end up... It's 22. So the way I got 22 was by calling that add up the cards routine. How many cards did we have? We had five cards, and the array of cards that I'm adding up is a face value of 1, 1, 10, 3, and 81. So as a card can't have a value of 81, I need to look at the code above. So we take one card, we take another card, we set got starts to two. While the total value of our cards is less than where we're sticking, we increment the number of cards we have, and we set card number three to be a new card. But that's not right. That's just the third card. <laughs> and so what's happened is that the remaining two cards in my array are left as uninitialized variables, which can amount to a very large amount. So what I will do is, I can't change this in break mode, so I'll have to rerun it again, but I am going to change this to actually set the correct uh, card in the array to the new card. And let's run this, and I'll leave the breakpoint there because we shouldn't actually ever hit it if I've correctly modified this program. Oh yes, let's rebuild it. And now I get a very strange error. Error 105, file not open for output. And I have to admit I was a bit stumped when that happened earlier, because I had no idea really what might be going on. And then I remembered another aspect of debugging in the 1990s. So, my card array, where is it, is here. So this is all the cards you can possibly have, which is not very many. And what happens when that uh, error appears 
is that we pull more than five cards, and now that we're actually saving cards in their correct indexes, what might happen is that we try to put a card number six into this got array, and what happens then is it just overwrites the memory that was above that, and strange things start happening. Uh, and the strange things that happened, thing that happened to me in this case was that I got a file error. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase, this, increase the size of this got array to something huge, 50, which is going to be more cards than we're ever going to want. And I'm now going to run the program again. And here you can see that no longer do we have those strange zeros over in the right-hand column. And we could be reasonably confident the results are a bit more accurate than they were before. So that's about it. A little bit of 1990s uh, debugging. It was fun to look back on it, but I must say I don't really miss it. Um, as I mentioned before, I would advise against using this program to plan your blackjack strategy because it doesn't know about aces. Thanks for watching, folks.